How's it going YouTube? Desert H back here with the latest tool bag review on the channel today. It's gonna be the TP3B clip-on felt tool pouch. And as you can see, I actually have this rigged up with the Vito shoulder strap and I hooked up my field piece meter bag to the side with an extra tape holder loom from all the other Vito bags I got that didn't need two on each side. Put one on there and a D-ring. And by far, as you guys see in my other videos, I have a reputation of having every single space in the bag filled with something. And they tend to become heavy because of that. Ah, she came back on. Can't stop a train, but I can. Either who, let's get to the bag review and show you guys how much you could fit and uh, what this bag is about. So it probably weighs, with the meter on the side, 25, 30 pounds. Very light bag. And I, as you can see, as usual, I filled it up. So on the side, we have my field piece SC66 full size multimeter. This pouch, as always, you know I carry a bundle of ties. Inside there, got this little plastic fuse puller, small and big, handles like that. Grab the fuse, pry. On the side there, got some needle noses here, pliers. I got my comms, Klein screwdriver, six in one, multi-bit. Very nice. I can put this in my pouch in my pocket, my shirt. Doesn't poke a hole, nothing like that. Then in here, I have a, what is this, a 12 inch crescent, adjustable crescent inside there. And in here, I got a Craftsman big flathead using for demo or taking off pesky panels that don't want to come out. Got a smaller Craftsman Phillips head for comms and such stuff like that i have a 532 klein allen t for pulleys on blower motors stuff like that i got my klein side cutters and crimpers in there i have my sitting on the handle of this tool here cps solenoid magnet for reversing valve troubleshooting them so on i have these oil crescent I have a uh, Husky uh, 12 in one, I believe. This one has a lot of sizes, a lot of bits on it. Nice screwdriver, even though it's not a Klein. I have a off-brand extension for my impacts. I have a Schrader valve removal tool, plus spare Schrader valves in there. Comes in handy. I have my uh, Pro Set service wrench. And that pouch on the side. We're getting empty in here, guys. Turn in the sun so you can see better where we're at right now. And here, I got my Klein small crescent. And it's tucked inside this little sleeve here. It's very narrow, but it fits some stuff. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Get out of there. Klein wire strippers. And in here, I got, as you guys seen in my other videos, my field piece smart link kit pipe clamps got mag jumper wire floating around in there too and high and low side pressure gauges digital and as you can see that pretty much is the stitching pouches for the whole pouch itself ideally and as always you got a little clip for a tape measure or your impact if you have an M12 lightweight impact and here I got a little tub, little miscellaneous wire nuts, crimpers, so on and so forth, spades, and the alligator jumper wires. And you got some small stitching pouches in there for bits and such. I don't have any in there. Never really was a fan of the front pouch with those small shanks because uh, you can't really get the bits out of there. Once you get them in there, <laughs> you can't get them out. So that just stays like that. But all in all, that is the whole tool pouch in the hole, y'all. As I said, it is meant to be like a belt clip-on pouch, although I do see it being uh, quite big, unless you're a drywall guy. 
probably be more accustomed and used to it. But as an HVAC guy, strictly, uh, yeah, not really my forte having that going on. So, but yeah, uh, this is a TP3B tool pouch, by far the lightest bag I've had. And honestly, with everything that I could carry in it on a day-to-day -day basis for what I do here at my new job, um, it serves me well. I never say, dang, I wish I got my bigger beetle bag. I mean, I thought it was, I was a little skeptical, this being the smallest bag that I bought. But if I had to compare this to any of my past bags, I would compare this to my MB2. Except the fact that this one has what the MB2 didn't. The hard plastic molded base. And uh, yeah, even though it's open concept, there's not a pouch cover to cover the tools from water or wood, you know, dust, whatever, so on and so forth. Ideally, if you do HVAC and stuff, this is a really nice tool pouch. By far the lightest one I've had and everything has a space, everything is spoken for as typical of me to do with my tool bags. Cause I live by the principle of my tools as I do with my second amendment. I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. <laughs> so yeah, but as all, I like it. I like it, it works great for me. Um, even though my demand for work here in terms of HVAC is minimal compared to what I was used to at my old job, it serves me well and I get a lot done than I think I would with just taking this tool pouch. There's some days I feel like oh, looking at my TPXL before I head out and I'm like, mm, and I'm like, no, and I just take this one and yeah, it worked out great. No problems, no darn, I forgot this, forgot that. It all works out pretty good and I'm happy with this bag. Cheapest one I've got and shoot, one of my favorites. Where are the odds of that, huh? But yeah, guys, so if you're in search for a lightweight tool pouch and you have that tendency like me to overfill a bag or stuff it so you can't stuff it no more, I would definitely say uh, take a look at the TP, TP3B. I heard people say the 4B is too big and it gets too heavy too quick. So if you're looking at the 2B, the 4B or the 3B and you're not decide you, you can't decide on which one I think the 3B meet in the middle not too hot not too cold just right as Goldilocks always says hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, as always work smart not hard and be safe out there peace